All right, so here we are. The next video in the ceiling project. And finished texturing, knockdown texture. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, finished the texture yesterday. It was a mess. Oh my goodness, it was a mess. Got it all cleaned up and uh, I primered everything today. So texturing was yesterday and it doesn't really come out good here. But there you go. All right, so there it is. I put a pretty heavy texture on the ceiling. On the vertical part of the soffit, I left that smooth, although it's primered. And then on the underside, you can see I went with knockdown texture. And I'm going to, tomorrow, I'm going to finish this job. Well, almost finish. I'm going to finish the painting by taking the wall color and finishing uh, that up there in the corner, the vertical section where I primered today. That will be the gray-green color of the wall. But yeah, I'm very pleased with uh, how it came out. It's a little heavier than I wanted to go, but Texturing is is uh, is not easy, especially on the ceiling. My new texture gun works good though. So there you go. That that's a pretty good example right there of of how heavy the texture is. You can see the knockdown texture. So we're in the home stretch with this project. But look at, uh, you know, you, could, you can't see any of the taping. So all of that um, sanding, I mean, almost not necessary, right? I mean, by the time you texture, you can't see any tape seams, especially with this heavy of a texture, plus the, the paint. But there, there's another example of the heavy texture. It looks good. I, I was pleased even yesterday when uh, it was just texture. And now with the paint on it, Looks even better. Pretty ple I was pleased yesterday. I'm really pleased with it today. So today, yesterday again, yesterday I textured, and then it was a mess. I it took me two and a half hours to clean up. After that, and I ripped down all the plastic. Today I put up all brand new plastic because ceiling paint primer is, you know, when you're working on ceilings, I didn't want to have a mess on the carpeting or on my walls, either the gray green drywall walls or the full brick concrete uh, so I went ahead and, and there's still a piece of plastic left there on that wall. I don't know why I'm leaving that, but yeah, it looks great. I'm pretty, really pleased. And then the other thing I did today is I permanently mounted the lights. So they're in. They're not hanging anymore.
I don't know if you can see. Smooth, looks good, primered. Tomorrow that'll be green. And then underside texture. See the texture? Heavy texture. Primer. So really, we are in the home stretch of this project. And you know, I'm gonna say in retrospect, gosh, was it hard to do, you know? I mean, you wanna do ceilings first before you do all this, you know, the faux brick, the paint, and all of the casing, and the walls, and, you know, doing the ceiling last <laughs> in this project, I mean, that was, that made it so much harder. Yeah, it took a, a long time to clean up yesterday. But it's all clean now. And... So what do we have left? I mean, pretty much we're near done. So we have the green, the gray green paint to finish off, which will take an hour and a half, maybe. I got to cut in. I got to cut in a lot, right? I got to cut in all that. And then I got to cut in the walls. Uh, but, uh, That'll go quick after the cut in. And then uh, the last thing will be the cove molding, which will go here. Right now the plan is only cove molding on the concrete wall. No cove molding on the drywall to ceiling joints. We'll see how that looks. And if I don't like it after doing it with just cove molding partially here, there, there, up to there, no cove molding here, no cove molding there, none there. Sorry for the panning. Um, I'll put cove molding around this part of the soffit obviously. We'll see how it goes, and then if it, it doesn't look right, maybe I'll cove mold the whole thing, including these drywall joints. This is the one that's got me a little puzzled, because I've got that cove molding, and then drywall joint, and then cove molding, cove molding, cove molding, to there. So maybe, maybe one piece of cove molding there just so it's continuous. But at the outset, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna leave the drywall joint. So, okay, so that's it. This is really a long video for, for nothing, except, uh, well, it's not nothing. It's, it's huge. Texturing was a mess. Putting the ceiling up last, not recommended. But in this case, necessary, because again, I wouldn't have done this if it wasn't for the virus. I just needed something to do. And so here we are. I'll take a video when it's all finished. Thanks for watching.